everyone, this is Neha from Holy Child Public School is here to introduce some interesting topic of maths which is applications of trigonometry. Have you ever played a game called as Mario? When you see him so smoothly glide over the roadblocks, he doesn't really jump straight over the y-axis, it is slightly curved over a parabolic path that he takes to tackle the obstacles in the way. So, next time you are playing these kind of video games, remember trigonometry is used over there. Do you know? Trigonometry plays a vital role in so many fields like astronomy, architecture, geography, engineering, and etc. And so many fields like these are incomplete without trigonometry. We have seen that trigonometry plays a very vital role. It is very important to learn. So let's start learning trigonometry. Before explaining its application, tell me, can you find the height of Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world, or the height of our national flag? without actually measuring it. It is quite difficult as we do not have such long measuring tape. So, in this situation, trigonometry help us. The distances and the heights can be found by using some mathematical techniques which come under a branch of mathematics called trigonometry. The word trigonometry derived from a Greek word Tree, gone, and metron, which means three sides measurement. Basically, trigonometry is the study of relationship between angles and the sides of a triangle. So, before starting its applications, let us define some basic terms. So, the first term is line of sight. The imaginary line joining the observer's eye and the object observed. So, our second term is angle of elevation. The angle between the horizontal line and the line segment which is above the observer's eye. Now, our third term is angle of depression. The angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight which is below the observer's eye. Friends, we know that Trigonometry generally deals with right triangles. So, let's take some examples from the nature where right triangles can be imagined to be formed. So friends, suppose you are standing near a tall building and you are seeing the top of the building. So, we can imagine a right triangle there also like in this image. Now, just imagine you are standing on the edge of a cliff and observing a boat in the water. So in this situation we can imagine a right triangle here like in this image. Now let's take another example to more clarify. The upper part of a tree is broken by the wind and the its top of the tree touches the ground and making a right triangle like this. Now in this way we can take so many examples from our day-to-day -day life of trigonometry. Now, the question arises how we can find the distances or the heights of these monuments and the width of the river. How? So, we can find the, these things from the trigonometric ratios. Thank you for watching my video.